Hey there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another Overwatch video. Today I'm talking about my second Overwatch account as well as a little bit about smurfing, so I'd say let's get right into it. Alrighty, so as you can see on the screen right now, this is my Lucky account, it's not my Dansky account, which all the previously recorded gameplays were from, so that's one of the reasons why you're not able to see the golden tracer weapons, for example, right now. So the main reason why I made a second account is first and foremost for having it a little bit separate, same way as I have it like for my CSGO accounts, or better said my Steam accounts. So the one account is mainly for like doing all the YouTube videos, like all the YouTube stuff, all the streaming on, and well, just stuff like that. And the other one is more like for like a private account playing with IRL friends and just like having a little bit more time for myself, if that makes any sense. And since of course this is a new account, you can also see my placement matches being played right now. This is actually my, my last of the placement matches, so towards the end of the video you can actually see my rank that I got on this new account. So keep in mind, on my main account I'm 3015 or something like that, so very low diamond. And yeah, I think it's interesting to see where I actually did land with this account. So I will talk about that a little bit later. So what I want to talk about right now is actually smurfing, since that's what probably most people will ask me about since I'm heavily against smurfing. And theoretically this could be well called smurfing, I guess. But there are a couple of things that Overwatch is actually doing very well in order to keep people from, well, properly smurfing, if we compare it to like proper smurfing in, for example, a game like CSGO. So let's talk a little bit about that. So similarly to CSGO, the big first hurdle you have to overcome when you're trying to play a competitive match in Overwatch, same as in CSGO, you first have to rank up your account to a certain level in order to play in competitive mode, or in ranked mode for that matter. So in CSGO's case it's actually rank 25, or well level 25, same as with in CSGO, I think, I believe it's level 21, I'm actually not too sure since I haven't made a second account in CSGO in quite some time to be honest. Anyhow. So that's like the first step that's kind of like preventing people from actually smurfing and wrecking you in games. Now another thing that you have to understand is that in Overwatch, the way the game is built, the TTK, like the time to kill, is actually a lot hi uh, higher, so in terms of milliseconds, so it takes you longer to kill someone in comparison to, for example, like CSGO, where you can just one-shot, headshot, AK people across the map all day, every day. So this is like the, the first thing you have to understand. Smurfing, just in general in Overwatch, is a lot harder just because the game is more team-based. Of course there are a couple of heroes in the game that are definitely better at like solo killing like people, but most of the time it's more of a co coordinated effort, same as it well, is supposed to be in CS, but again, if you're just very mechanically skilled in CS, you can just go around and one dig everyone all day. So that's like another measure against kind of smurfing or just like one player completely dominating the enemy team. It's more team-based. So it's a little harder to do that and it's not as easy. So there's another thing or protection that also makes it harder for people to smurf and watch, and that would be the implementation of longer queuing times for high skill players with new accounts. Because every time a new account is being made, it's trying to match you up with people of the same level. So not your same skill, but kind of more of your same level. Because it is expected of newer players to of course be, well, worse at the game. So you don't want to queue a level 20 up with a level, I don't know, 5 or 600. That's well, this guy obviously will have more knowledge. However, if you're making a new account and you already are level 200 or 300 on your other one, or like at the very highest R in the skill player, you of course do have more knowledge and you of course are also better at the game. And you're, the game is kind of trying to match you up with players of the same level first, and if it's not finding anyone, it's then trying to match you up with players of the same skill level. Of course, this only applies to new accounts, as long as you don't have any SR ratings yet. So as soon as you're playing competitive matches, rank 25, it'll be completely based off of that and not of your hidden MMR. So this is only a protection for new players that they're not getting completely stomped on. However, as a skill player making a new account, you have very long queue time, sometimes up to like two, three, four, five, six, sometimes even like one time at seven minutes or something like that. So this will just keep you from just completely playing over and over and stomping the people again. And it's just kind of a disencouragement, I guess, for uh, people trying to smurf around in the game, which I do like. I think it's not a good idea to smurf against people, even though it's not as easy and not as effective and strong in Overwatch as it is in CSGO, for example. I think it's still a good thing. So yeah, after ranking up my account for many, many hours uh, since it was actually taking me so long due to the long queue times, I finally ended up at a certain rank which you will be able to see at the end of this video. Now another thing that I want to talk about with Overwatch is that I also have a second account where I will be posting more Overwatch content, however not many people now do know about this. And what my plan is I kind of slowly want to transition over to that account, however for the time being I'm still gonna be posting the Overwatch content in this one until everyone is 
found the way to the other channel, kind of. Oh, and before I forget, there's also, of course, the win streak system, which is kind of keeping it more intact and making it hard to stay at a lower rank in order to bash on lower skill players, which is also very nice, so just keep that in mind as well. But yeah, this is the, well, the rank that I did end up at, the 2670, and on my main I'm 3015 or something, so it's quite a bit lower, but usually the ranking system is placing you a little lower intentionally, but again, that's a topic for another video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and lucky skill faker out.